So in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Apache Ranger for the IBM Open Platform with Apache Hadoop. So here's a 50,000 foot view of the Apache Ranger architecture. On the left, you'll see that there's a database required to store the Ranger policies and other information that's going to support the Ranger application. There's a web-based administration interface called Ranger Admin. There is Ranger User Sync, which is basically used to bring in user IDs from the operating system or LDAP. And then there's Ranger KMS, which stands for Key Management Service. It's based on Apache Key Management Service and is used to support encryption in HDFS. Now Ranger is used to manage authorizations for different services in a single interface. So this is done through plugins. Today, there are plugins for HDFS, Yarn, Hive, HBase, and Knox, and each of these plugins are optional. You can choose which services you want to have managed under Ranger, and you can install them anytime. So for this video, we're gonna focus on step one, which is setting up the Ranger database, and then step two, which is setting up Ranger Admin and Ranger User Sync. The third piece, Ranger KMS, because it deals with encryption, is a larger topic and is going to be covered in a separate video in the future. And then finally, the individual plugins will create specific videos for each of them. So today we're going to focus on setting up Ranger Database and Ranger Admin and Ranger User Sync. So here I am logged into one of my nodes where I have MySQL already installed. What I want to do is have a database created that is owned and administered by a Ranger database user. So I'm going to connect to the MySQL database and create a user for this purpose. This statement, create user Ranger DBA at localhost, identified by Ranger DBA, will create a user at this server, and this clause identified by is the password. Now, obviously, this is not very secure, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Next, I want to make sure this user can create all the necessary tables and objects when I create the database. Next, I'm going to repeat these steps to make sure that Ranger DBA can connect from any host. Now let's see if we can connect. My password is going to be Ranger DBA, as this is what I've set up here. So this shows that now I can connect as a Ranger DBA. The next thing I want to check is to make sure that I have the MySQL Java connector installed. To do this on Red Hat 7, I can look here and you'll see that the file does exist. If it doesn't exist, you can install it using yum install mysql connector java. In the next step, you'll wanna to go to your Ambari server and install this connector. Now that I'm in my Ambari server node, I'm going to install the connector. This says I'm going to install a JDBC connector for mysql using this driver. Now that I've set up a user who can create objects in MySQL, I'm going to go to Mbari and log in. And then from the Actions menu, I'm going to perform Add Service. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for Ranger. And it's going to ask me if I've done everything required as prerequisites. In the Assign Master step, you're going to specify where you want Ranger User Sync and Ranger Admin are going to be installed. Now in this panel, we're going to configure some parameters for the Ranger Admin component. You have to tell Ranger Admin what the database name is going to be. In this case, the database will actually be called Ranger. And the Ranger database username will be Ranger Admin User. That's for the application. Here we're going to specify the password, which is Ranger DBA. And it's going to create the username Ranger Admin with the password Ranger DBA Ranger DBA. Further below, it's going to ask you who the database administrator is going to be for Ranger. Here, it's Ranger DBA again, and we're going to specify Ranger DBA Ranger DBA. And we can test the connection here. Now, this is not enabled yet because there's one more section we have to set up, which is for Ranger Audit. Now in Ranger Audit, we want to specify a password for the audit database. Now the database name 
will be set up as Ranger Audit. You also can audit to HDFS, but we'll keep the defaults for now. Here you can validate your repository to set up correctly and hit deploy. So now Ranger is successfully installed and we can see it in our Embari interface. So now you'll see that some services will need to be restarted in order to support Ranger. Now let's take a look at the Ranger interface. Click on the Ranger service in Ambari. You can access this from Quick Links. The default password for Ranger admin GUI is admin admin. And you'll see that it's ready to manage authorizations for HDFS, HBase, Hive, Yarn, and Nox. This will be the topic of our plugin specific videos. If you go under settings and look at users and groups, you'll see that user sync has started to work. UserSync will show you that there are internal users that are specific to Ranger, admin and Ranger UserSync, as well as external users that it has picked up from the operating system. So for example, Hive, Zookeeper, HTTPFS, and also the operating system groups that those users belong to. And then finally, this visibility column indicates whether these user IDs can be used for policies and whether they're enabled or not for Ranger. This includes the installation and setup of Ranger. Next, you can look at setting up individual plugins.